Hello my YouTube friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this sparkly pink and purple butterfly. So if you'd like to learn how, keep on watching. Okay, so I know I've already shown you guys how to do one butterfly. It was one of my earliest videos. If you haven't already seen it, go check it out. It was a fast face series video of um, face paintings that take two minutes or less. So I thought it was time I showed you guys how to do another butterfly that's a little First more First thing detailed. I'm gonna do is take this rainbow cake, which I made. It's not pretty, but it's functional. Uh, I have Diamond Effects Pink, um, Diamond Effects Purple and Pink that I smushed together, Diamond Effects Purple, and Diamond Effects uh, Lavender or Light Purple. And the reason why I put the light at the end is because I think it's always good to have a soft color on either end of a rainbow cake you're going to use for butterflies or a mask because if you have a deep color for the outside or the inside, it just looks too harsh. The lighter colors blend with the skin a lot easier. So if you put this nice soft color at the end, then it's going to blend right into the skin and it won't be so hard to make look so with good. The pink on the inside at the corner of my eye, I'm going to go ahead and pounce this down on just the edge right here. You don't need to push the whole flat part, just that edge. And I'm going to go at a diagonal so that the sponge goes from the corner of my inner eye up to right before the arch of the eyebrow. That's where I'm gonna start it. And I'm gonna press down to make that butterfly wing shape until about right here. You don't wanna go much farther than that. For the bottom wing, I'm gonna start at the corner of the eye as well and angle my sponge down and I'm gonna bend it like that so it's shorter because we want the bottom wing to be shorter than the top wing. So we're shortening the sponge by bending it in half. And that also is gonna create a really nice curve for the bottom wing too. So this can be tricky. Just like that. And bring it back towards the other corner of your eye. So it's that easy. The line's going to go from the corner of the eye, round, a uh, round wing, round out, and then come up at this corner. So it's round and then up. So both start in your inner corner and end in the outer. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. All right, so if you make any little mistakes like my sponging mistake here, a really easy way to clean that up is to take a wet wipe before this fully dries and then just wipe it along the edge to clean that up. And it should come off really easily if you do it before it dries completely. And on a number one brush, I'm gonna do the body of the butterfly. So right in the center of my eyebrows, I'm just gonna do a little head. And I like to make the body is really delicate, not too huge. And then a teardrop going down. And for the antenna, I like to go out and then end in a swirl. And one going that Now way. I'm gonna start doing the details on the wings. I'm gonna take that black, my number one brush again, and start right above my eyebrow and bring it up. Push down on my brush to make a thicker line and pull up on my brush to end in a point. Now I'm going to start here and go down to end in a really skinny line about right here. From here I'm going to add some lines going in. I'm going to put one right where this bump right here Right in the middle of that, go down and in a point, and then I'm going to bring the edges in so that they curve. I'm going to do one more uh, at this bump over here, and in a point, and bring that out so it curves. Here, I'm going to make skinny lines that connect these little U's. 
like to go fat and then skinny. Fat, skinny, fat. Skinny. Now for the bottom wing, I'm gonna start at the corner of the eye, come down, bump it in, bring it out, lift up my brush, start at the corner of the eye up here, and connect it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the lines. At this bump, I'm going to put one line going up, and one more this way. And then do your use. Repeat all of this on the other side. So at this time, I take a number six brush and some white and do teardrops going in toward the butterfly. One, two, three. And the same on the other side. One, two, three and dots on the antenna. And I do a series of little dots in each of these upper areas. I'm taking a number one brush and some white, and I'm gonna do a few starbursts. Flick, 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 flick. I'm just going to add a little dot with the corner of the eye. I'm just going to add some glitter. I know lots of people say, oh, less is more with glitter, but I disagree. I love glitter. Okay, so that's it. It's just a pretty simple butterfly um, that you could do for parties or if you have shorter lines. Um, this one, after a few times doing it, will probably take you anywhere between two and a half to five minutes, depending on how fast you are. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.